Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No more grill in the house. We have Mitch Leslie. The shackles have been removed. This is the ESL ESEA Pro League, and it is Fnatic up against Penta. Now, this is going to be a tricky one for Penta on Inferno, but you have all the stats. Oh, well, I have some stats, really. No, you've got them here. all. <laughs> Hyping me up for nothing. That's exactly what I do to uh, some players by accident, actually. Well, look, first of all, the knife round being won by Fnatic and JW getting three. Why? The last time these two teams played together actually was March, and Fnatic was uh, the victor there, 16-8. So March is a long time ago. Team was a lot different. Dude, it's a totally different Penta team. I don't think anyone in the lineup. Let me have let me, let me think. No. Maybe Crystal. Chris Crystal, maybe. Crystal, Tabs maybe. No, he was in Mouse. No, no, not what's no. Crystal, I think Crystal's probably the only one that's there. Actually, to be fair, Spitty was in Penta back then. Yes, he was, before <laughs> he went away. Before he went to Mouse and came back again. So that's just how useful that bit of knowledge is. Great but stat, also, mate. Great also stat. Penta, in their last three Inferno matches, have only got a max. have only got 10 rounds in their last three matches in total. Great. They, they got three <laughs> against Titan, three against TSM, and four against Vexed. Obviously, uh, one of the teams can be a clue. So we're into the pistol round here, and Pronax already starting off fairly nicely here with a hold on Banana. Triple stack on Banana, actually, and now they're pushing down it. Yeah, actually, might be a little bit aggressive here. Crimson Pronax together. They might be trying to hunt Crystal. But this is Olofmeister here in apartments. Tapson has the bomb, and Olofmeister might be ready to receive this one here. USP, not exactly the uh, highest fire rate. We'll have to see if Olof can click some heads here. That'll definitely get him out of trouble quickly. As I think they heard him. I think they heard a footstep, yeah, because Olaf made a quick footstep move. Oh, dear. No, they don't know he's there. Why are you not checking that room? Right. Now they oh. checked it, yeah. He checked it from their side. And now he's actually in a real tricky spot. Oh. But he gets one tap. Can he get oh, the please. second Olaf Meister? Please. Please turn off. Brilliant stuff there from him now. Pinto, I mean, Crystal's the last mistake for Pinto. He's going to try his luck, at least with a bit of a banana push. And he himself can produce some of the goods, but Flusher will be there to shut him down. And that is that is the quintessential example of keeping calm under a potentially uh, a stressful situation there, Olaf Meister. Two guys right outside the door, and it's a quick one love tap to each of them. To put Most it people are like literally been putting a clip in the wall. Right there. Yep. It's like, ah, two people pushing me panic. And he's just like, no. No, one, two. That's all they need. Two bullets. Two bullets. Incredible stuff. Here we go, though, Fnatic. Now they're on the SMGs. A couple of rifles as well. Flushing on towards that M4A4. Are oh, we going to see the no respect play? Doesn't look like it. Now, Penta did invest into this one. They've got themselves a Deagle. Matarsin, who's trying to get a peek up there. Tabs them with the Tech 9, trying to rattle a couple of shots through, but nothing really to be found. It's all often Crimson that are being tested, but they hold this B site so, so well. And Penta unable to break through at the moment with that smoke down. And Crims is waiting on the other side with the P90 as well. So they maybe even Let loose. Uh, should reconsider this one as well. Because they don't have the nades to, to sort of get Crims out of this corner here. They don't have any Molotovs. No grenades uh, with them as well. No, Chris only has a flash. So it's super dangerous for them to even go for this one. But they're going to do it anyway. Crims is going to pop out. Tabson. Oh, he's going to go down, but not from here. It's actually Tarsin to take down Tabson. But exactly. There you go. Crims was in the corner. We'll get, well, basically get three with a bit of help from Tarsin. Surprise was not really one that Penta was hoping for. But Spitty and Pronax about to peek around. Resmoke going down there. So, Pronax is... Okay, Crystal does find one. Spitty does clear out Pronax. Now, Crystal, if he can make tracks, could get up here. JW's holding in the cubby. Flusher in library. Over in Moto, actually. Does manage to get a couple of tags down. He's the one person that did pick up a rifle. And that range is working out well for him. But he doesn't manage to land the shots. Now he's got two pushing up. Has to go for the reload. Gets himself just around the corner. But immediately JW comes in. Support. And now Spitty, can he get the bomb down? If he can get a bomb from anything, it would be great. Oh, great spray down. Now only 22 health left for Flusher. This is totally doable by Spitty. 15 health is all he's got. Flusher's pushing up around the side. Flusher gets the angle. And he will get the defuse. But that was definitely a lot closer than Fnatic would have liked. Yeah, in your exact words, it was totally doable. Spitty actually, well, he was very fortunate to even get off the balcony in the first place. Flash has struggled to connect with those M4 shots, but once he got down as well, three kills for him for the round. So even after quite a, well, I mean, quite a good start there for Fnatic with those uh, those kills happening in Banana, I almost got a little bit too close. There was a, pl a bomb plan, I think, from Penta, so that is important. Money-wise, at least for them here. I doubt they'll go for too much at this stage. Oh, uh, I'm wrong. There we go. There's a rifle buy here as well oh, and a dash dear. of utility. Here we go, Fnatic. Shotgun for Krems and a Mag 7 for JW. So JW, is he going to take that one into apartments? He generally does. Krems is going to be up close and personal. It's going to be in sandbags once again. Yeah, JW is rushing through apartments. But Penta have stacked out a banana at the moment and bottom and mid. So nobody going too far. Those smokes from Fnatic will delay things. 
Hoffmeister trying to get a rattle, a couple of shots on towards the top of the uh, logs there, but not able to find anything. JW, he's got himself in dark room, just where Olaf was previously in the pistol round, and he's hoping he gets a victim come his way. Well, JW hasn't really been able to use those close quarters to his advantage here. As our only Speedy is really close to him here. Doesn't even look like he wants to challenge at this stage. Crims has backed off from Banana, fearing some of those uh, nades and Molotovs may be used to shake him out here. So Penn are going for the force on this round, interesting enough, and actually not waiting the extra one. They really don't want to let themselves fall behind the eight ball. And they're going to try and take things in their own hands. Strux is up on balcony. Doesn't manage to follow through, but they do know that JW is there. So Speedy finds him. And now will they continue pushing? Flush is all alone at the moment now, because... Pronax was cleared out. He's going to get himself down into pit. Crims is taken out by Tarsen, and Fnatic are just dropping all across uh. the map here. Olaf is going to try and get the angle, tries to rattle the shot through, and almost makes it count on Tarsen. Look at Penta solo. Six health for Tarsen, six health for Spitty. Olaf, if he just lands anything through it, it could work in his favor, but not able to get them down. It doesn't look like he's too interested in pushing to try and go for the clear up. So Penta get themselves around. Yeah, Olaf Meister a flash of court away. Olaf Meister isn't going to bother with B here as well. So Penta actually on a force round, don't lose anyone yet at the very least here as well. We might see Flusher go for some exit as well if there's a bit of bank build up for them here and maybe just try and shake the foundation slightly for Penta. But this is perfect stuff from the, from the German side here in the early stages. Taps and takes down Flusher and Olaf Meister fancies another chance, but only gets the one for himself there as well. Considering that was Penta sort of forcing it up and Fnatic, they did have two shotguns there as well. They were sort of going a little bit cheaper after that nastier second round. Penta get that one there. We're heading to the fourth, and that's good. Penta wanted to take things into their own hands there. They, by rights, could have waited mm. and had a proper, solid fall by the next round, but, but it's this is just as good. It's because they got the bomb plan down. That was such a big play by Strux and uh, Spitty, sorry, in that previous round, which obviously what helped them buy up in that one, and now complete full buy. But Fnatic are going aggressive instead. They're rushing down here. Now, Crimps almost managed to find a couple of kills, but does force them to back, and has a big dink onto Olaf Meister. Fnatic trying to go aggressive, trying to counter on towards Penta. Penta very much ready for that one. All was sat down the bottom of mid. Fain, paying fairly dearly for control of Banana there with Olofmeister being very low now. Has to drop back to a bit of a lurk. As Crims and Pronax will be just pushing forward here as well. The boost from Penta is going to be revealed to Pronax as he takes a couple shots on that. Puts Crystal down to 58 points of health. And this smoke keeps being refreshed here at Banana. So we're not really going to see too much progression through here yet. Penta have the nades. They have the flashes as well. And you'll see them now use that just to try and make life a little bit harder for Crims and Pronax. And that's actually forced Pronax back. Yeah, Crims is going to stay up close, but I'm pretty certain this spot's going to get checked. It's going to be Tabson, uh, Tarson, sorry, that's going to check it out first as they creep round there. They, no, not going to find the first one, though. No. Panic, panic, spray, Strux just spraying everywhere he can to try and find his way through. But a kill's a kill, and it's a one-for-one -one trade. Now Pronax and Lolof, they've got themselves tucked in B. Look at JW, he's going through tunnels. He's going to get behind them, but Penta are pushing up mid. This could be really good, but he might be caught by Strux, actually. It depends what he chooses to poke out. No, he's going to have good timing there as well. It's just going to be Strux who comes to shoot out. But he gets him now, and that sets things up for Fnatic. They can actually start to close, and they're a bit here, but A will be open. The bomb will go down. And Flusher got a great big tag onto uh, Crystal there on his back. So 28 for Spitty, 42 for Crystal. Bear in mind, this is a total pistol round from Fnatic from the start. Fnatic are really putting pressure on him. Olive's going to push around. Crystal does manage to deal with him in apartments. JW getting a good tag. And Flusher does find Spitty. And now it's all on Tabson and Crystal. Tabson goes down. Crystal, the last man standing in a one-on-one. -on -one. Pronax is going to push his position. He knows he's in pit. Hasn't got a kid in hand, so I'm not sure he's quite got time. He's going to get onto the bomb. I think he may have just done it. No, he hasn't got time. I was going to say, I can see ticking too much. So just slightly too long, but... That's just a fanatic pistol round there. Penta will come out on top, but that cost Penta so much. I'm not sure they can really make a clean buy in this next round. Well, this makes the money situation Crystal actually probably really... Can. This is awkward now. Oh, they're good. They're good. They're good. Yeah, like, I mean, Penta, Penta have enough, obviously, for having won that round there as well. Fnatic, I mean, they didn't have to spend too much in that last round. In fact, we saw two consecutive rounds where each team actually sort of forced up and, and almost, in Fnatic's case, got the better of them there. You can see the buy is going to be a little bit patchwork. JW again with the Mag 7. No, uh, no prizes for guessing where he's going to go there. Penta, not with the AWP. Uh, at all, just those four AKs here as well. Tarsen doesn't have a lot of utility here, but he's going to work with Taps and there's plenty. So, Penta, at least getting a couple of rounds on the T side board, which is certainly impressive against Fnatic when they won that pistol. Maybe Fnatic's arrogance almost costs in them, but they're going to be approaching this one in a fun style, I feel. They're well clear at the top at the moment. 
alongside TSM. A lot of wins under their belt. JW and Pronax in apartments, waiting up close and personal. He's going to pop out! And that's all he needed. And now that could be a weapon claim. Strux is going to keep on pushing through. Oh, Pronex is going to find one as well on the balcony. And that's Crystal that's going to get dropped down. Wasn't expecting the second one from Strux, though, to follow on through. But it's a three and three. Strux switching on there in the last few seconds just to turn things on their head over at apartments. And that frees things up a little bit for Penta. They can actually sort of move up there a little bit as Flusher will move to quad. Strux now is just going to come back from second mid. And this has drawn Crims from B. Yeah, three of them rotated to A site and Penta are making their way to B site. Olaf and Crims is going to oh. try him make the cross, but that was the bomb. Flusher managed to find him. Penta will manage to recover it, but they're going to chase him down banana. Flusher pushing on towards this on taps and I think he's expecting this. He's just going to back straight around the corner. And now they know he's in the angle. Flusher though with the AK. Will pursue. He's the only man left for Fnatic as Olaf gets cleared out. I don't think Tapson's going to get a chance to plant this. I think Flusher, if he keeps on going... No, he's just passed off the bomb. Tapson's like, I'm pretty certain someone's coming behind me. It's going to be Flusher. Gets himself another. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one with Tarson. He goes for the plant. Did Flusher hear the plant? I don't think so. Gets himself a second chance. Tarson does not mess around this time. Nailed on head for Flusher, but again, another incredibly close round. And this time, Penta's economy is kind of broken. And again, just just basically a mishmash from Fnatic working out well for them. Yeah, time running out there in that last round uh, really hurt Penta a bit. And that's all Flusher was really trying to do. We actually saw uh, Tabson running back and he wanted to throw the bomb to Tarsin uh, and give that over so he could go plant at least and, and maybe he sort of could turn around and get the kill on Flusher. That was all Tabson actually had to do. Just kill Flusher and you're done. But he couldn't do it, of course, and Flusher held out really nicely there. So here we are at three and two. Penta only have that one AK, which is being preserved by Tarsin. Only two grenades for the entire team as well. So it can be a little bit tricky. And again, they have to do it old school and uh, just to play ahead of any sort of smokes and, and get some solid entries here as well. And that's a big ask for Penta, I feel, against Fnatic. Yeah, Penta four and nine. Remember, they won that game earlier on against Hellraisers. So impressive stuff from them. Fnatic, though, 13 and three. They don't tend to lose matches easily. And that three and two already, you've got to feel comfortable for them. It's Crimson Olofmeister holding out a B site. That looks like where Penta are going to start creeping towards. Not a great deal of utility, just a single flash for Olofmeister to keep them at bay here. Yeah, as, as I said before, utility not strong for either of these teams here. Fnatic don't have the ability to stall out, and there comes Tarsus straight around the corner. Olaf Meister is going to reciprocate, though. He gets one on Tabs, and he's still going to have some pop shots through the smoke, and he does connect some damage on towards Tarsus, I think it was now. Three players for Penta on B. Look at Olaf Meister just jumping out there. That puts Strax to 11 health. Yeah, they're all very low. The bomb plant does come in favorable for Fnatic as well, though. JW, who's got himself onto porch, he's just creeping on through there. There's the flash going down. Oh. Olaf pushes in. He oh. knows there's one around the corner, and the clean out is beautiful. Tarsin, the last man standing. JW is going to find him. And they are just picked apart with Mag 7s. That is just nasty. Nasty stuff for Fnatic. Do you even Mag 7, bro? Good work by Fnatic there. Holding quite well. I mean, as I said, neither of these teams had a lot of utility. So, you know, it's what we're seeing in some of these rounds when that happens is that Fnatic don't have the ability to stall out very much. But Penta also don't have the ability to dig Fnatic players out of those really cheeky defensive corners and positions like that as well. So those Mag 7s are just good in that environment as well because they can hold the close angle. And sometimes even the longer angles we saw Olofmeister nice to get some cheeky damage across that site. Now Penta have those AKs as well. No Note that Crystal hasn't opted for an AWP yet. There were, I think the other round, he had 1,900 left over, so he could have gone for that one here. He's looking more, he's feeling more comfortable, should I say, with an AK in his hands. Yeah, and he's also, uh, their economy has not been the securest of things, and the amount of smokes that Fnatic will use sometimes do distract away from those AWPs. And when you've got JW and Olaf running around with Mag 7s, you know, sort of, the flavor of the game you're expecting from Fnatic, at least. You know, probably going to be very aggressive. Not that that's any different when JW has got an AWP in his hand either. He's going to oh. get a peek around the corner and find Speedy. Takes him down to two health. Speedy's so lucky to be alive right now. And he knows it too. He'll back away as well. Just fall back to the second line here. And let's let Penta, uh, so Strux and Crystal, sorry, try and do some work. Here's JW on your screen now as well. And you can see he's just been moving in between apartments, coming back towards the side. He might move up to quad in a second now as Promax gets gunned down by Strux there. And that's a good opening here, especially with Speedy so low for Penta. They can work from that. They can build on that. Here's Crims at the B side, and Tarsin and Tabson. 
combination that can easily get mixed up by a caster. I've been sort of combining here a bit. <laughs> a lot of smokes towards that uh, banana there. You can see, you see Crims has been trying to buy a lot of time. But here comes a push. Crims gets one. Crims gets two. Can he hold the third? No, he won't take his chances with that one. It's his backup. It's going to be a flash. It's going to be a call for help. And it's going to be Olaf Meister getting there. But there's Crystal in mid following, uh, taking out Olaf Meister. Sorry, but JW was there with a great Mag 7 shot. And Crystal in a real tricky spot now. Gonna get picked apart. Crims gets himself a triple. And that's really the, the solidness of Crims. Like they happily left Crims all alone on B site. He held the angle and made it work from CT. So beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I think now five to open this one. Economy now actually starting to build at last. It's took them a little while to get going, but they've managed to rescue a whole lot of AKs away from Penta. Penta just going in with just a couple of loose pistols. Fnatic, after having a few days off after uh, that loss to TSM on Mirage here, it's been their first game since then. So coming in a little bit fresh as well, maybe off the drawing board to some extent. Sorry, that was a victory for them. What am I talking about? Yeah, uh, it's a crazy uh, game. Casted that one, but a flusher there with two in mid. Just for now, and he's done nicely as Crims has picked up one of the Crims is top rated player for Fnatic on this map as well in recent times. That might have something to do with his B play there, because he was so solid in that last round. Spitty fancies his shot of the shooting gallery there, but JW is going to deny him with the USP and Strux. Well, he's got 99 problems and 99 points of health. <laughs> Make it 100 problems, actually, as Crims finishes him off. It makes you sick when you see the douche. The one tap, like the slimmest of pixels to look down. No pressure, yeah, beautiful. no worries, just a... Single tap, done. 6-2, Fnatic. That's the bank building, not a single man loss there. Very easy round for them, but Penta are going to be back on the AKs, back on the rifles. Lollamol is in hand. Are they going to try their hand at b site once again? They're going to try and burn out those positions this time around, or will they try and force maybe something on CT Arch? All right, well, a little bit of an aggressive push early here. Was a, it was a three. bit of a boost here for Penta there. We saw Tapson get damaged a little bit. Yeah, three players in there. Pronax not going too deep, though, considering how far back Penta are. But there goes Flusher, <laughs> taken down by Tapson. Managed to back away in unison as well, both backing away together. That was nice to catch through the X-ray there. Somewhat surprised that Olaf actually didn't uh, land the shots there. Flusher was picked out, though. JW just going early aggressive peeking down in apartments. Very aggressive, in fact. He's almost pushed out of there. Crystal's going to be chasing him. He's actually pushed into the smoke and got a little peek in towards old mid there. And will back away. Crystal's going to try and chase on towards him. This is buying time for Strux, who's actually just holding on a bench there. JW does find one. Pronex also gets himself another. That was Strux down mid. So Tarsten's going to push on through, but Penta just getting picked apart. They don't really know what angles Fnatic are going to come from here because they're playing so so random effectively, so loose, so aggressive that they just push out. When you get JW pushing out that position, that is not common in your pro matches. Yeah, I mean, for JW though, it used to be an AWP, and if you missed, he'd pull out the CZ and try and get the spray down. Max yep. 7 has been a bit more you know, common for him to look, do that in recent times. Look at Tarsin. Tarsin's managed to creep all the way around. Oh, Olaf suspects it. Olaf suspects it. Oh, they just, they just know these guys. They know so well. It's like somebody definitely slipped through the net. It's Tabson. Just trying to hold himself. He's caught in bench down second mid. He does get himself out and towards JW. And a great little tag. Spitty on Crims as well. So suddenly this is a two on two. It should never have come to this. And this is an actual real problem. Now, obviously the time ran out there, but that should never have been a case. For like, yeah, they've got money, but losing three people in the last couple of seconds. But this happening here as well uh, for Penta. They don't care. It's not the first time that time Penta have run out of time as well. Now, they tried that little uh, boost sort of towards Banana because they know Fnatic are excellent at, at forcing them back and stalling for time with those smokes. So they're hoping for a pick over the top of the smoke and then work their way down. They did get one, but still got stalled out, especially with JW doing so much damage to them over towards apartments. <laughs> JW just straight away. It's a 7.9k. I just yeah. want a Mag 7 again. I love my Mag 7. And look where it's going to go. It's going to go in apartments. It's aggressive. It seems to be working. He's going to go looking for Spitty. He's actually in dark at the moment. Not going to push out this time. Flusher finds Tarsin. And Penta, they're going to be a little bit aggressive, trying to speed things up here. They have run out of time a couple of times, as you mentioned. But that Molly is going to slow him down. Yeah, and that is Fnatic's ability to stall and disrupt as well. Flusher actually caught one, pushing down mid. So Tarsin uh, going ahead of his team in mid, pushing into that one from Flusher, and Flusher have handily won that little duel there. They're going to smoke him off now. Pronax will still be there at quad, but Penta are actually just trying to sell something there a bit as Strux is going to rotate through to Banana, and Tapson isn't far behind. Problem is, they hadn't faked it enough, and they hadn't really drawn out the smokes from Crimson Olaf, so that can just get re-smoked off, so they're not able to rope back around. 50 seconds on the clock, time still keeps ticking. Penta slowly working their way over towards B site here, but Olaf and Crims 
it's a scary, scary prospect to try and clear around. They haven't been too successful doing it just yet. Crystal slowly getting a peek there. You can see Olaf on Spall's Crimson new box. And Olaf's going to get a glimpse. Oh, and he still gets one fully whited. Yeah, really nice little spray from him now. And Olaf Meister will still hold from just the back of Spools here. Pentera committed to this one as well. Flash is coming around from CT. This could get very ugly now. Olaf Meister, there's Crimson. Kill feeds filling up with blue and a Fnatic are uh, getting it done. What a stunning round there. Three for Olaf Meister. Really uh, didn't have to do anything overly special. We just held his angles, of course, through the, through the Flash with some lovely work here. It's clear to see that Penta um, are struggling now that Fnatic have settled in. Their first couple rounds came at the start of the match before Fnatic had a full Infernary, full loadouts. But now that they have all the smokes that they need, all the stalling that they need and they've got the angles Penta don't really seem to know how to sort of overcome that yeah now JW has decided to go for the AWP as well he's going to go for a couple of peaks maybe letting loose with his pistol as he as he ran but goes for an early peak on balcony doesn't really find anything and he gets himself a look down mid so that's how aggressive they're feeling right now the fact that he's just get allowed to just take those looks and we were talking about earlier now now they've actually started to force the smokes out of Olaf and Crims they just didn't put pressure on them in that last round, which is why they were so able to delay it. There goes the second smoke. So continuing to run the clock down, but Arthur and Crims are really hard to squeeze out of this position. They play it so well together. And this is what's going to happen now. Cruz was behind the sandbags. He goes for one and taps it with the, with, at least with the Tech Knight. can get one back. But there's Olaf Meister on the spray down. Only gets two, but Flash has already made his way back through CT. He's so fast to rotate, and he shuts down that push from Penta. They thought they were home in hose until Flash has showed up out of the blue. Spitty snuck around the back. If only that smoke wasn't there, he'd get a clean view of JW. Now JW hears it, lines himself up the up shot, and his position's reversed. A little tag through there with the pistol. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, he's got the Mag 7. He's yeah. switched, switched to the Mag 7. Where's his AWP? I, well, he's not bought one yet. JW had an AWP at the start of that round. What has he done with it? He had an AWP at the start of that round. I don't know what he did with it, but he's decided, you know what, I'm Mag 7 back. Well, it, it seems to be working out from there. 10-1 in six years, of course. Or was that the uh, previous round? I uh, might uh, have been. I yeah, might have been. I don't. I didn't know that I saw him with a match. He definitely had no JW had an AWP at the start of that round. Absolutely, because right. he was taking peaks down mid. Well, whatever. All right. Well, uh, nonetheless, there's seven rounds here. Two Fnatic and Flush are just going to detonate straight down mid. I won't really find too much at all. But Penta now playing this one a little bit slower, except towards that second mid here. Gee, but JW's so already aggressive. got himself in close as well. And you can see through the X-ray, uh, he's just going to be looking for Speedy. Now, Speedy should be anticipating this one as well. He's actually waiting for JW to push out a bit further. And there we go, JW. Smoke that one. He's got a Molotov out as well. So stall, stall, stall for time. If he wants to pop out and get a kill, he can. Oh, a lot of damage coming out from him there. Strux went down as well. And uh, Pro Actually, doing work towards him here. So, look at this. A minute left, and Penta have made zero inroads here at all. So, I wasn't losing my marbles. He did have an all yeah. at the start I of that round. Peaking, yeah. And he decided to just switch it up and pick up a Mag 7 again. Oh, whatever. Whatever whatever the Fnatic like to do. I feel they're having a little fun with this one. They are 9 2 up after all, and why not? It seems to be working out for them. But Penta do manage to take down JW. The aggression backfiring on him. Crystal and Crims all alone over on B site. Going to be having their little individual duel, but Pentra trying to make an inroad onto A. They've not been too successful in getting on this site, but then again, B's not really worked out for me either. Olaf Meister's made the rotation through here with the absence of JW, and this might be a push from Penta here. They've at least made their way up mid. Ronax is still back in pit. There's Olaf Meister, the man who did rotate through. He's just going to be able to hold that corner quite easily. And Penta, well, they've got to go somewhere. They have to go forward in some way or another. Only 18 seconds left in the round there. There's Crystal, does get the AWP on towards Olaf Meister, and that's a 3v2. Ronax holding on balcony. He turned the flash, but he also turned away from the player that was coming to him. But Flasher was covering him the whole time. But there's Crystal. Just a bit of it's Crystal magic for you. He'll get the plant down, and Crims has to go 1v1. Just about in time there. Very, very close. Crims, he's got time, he's got a kit. He can delay this one. Crystal going to stick with the AWP and get himself on balcony. It's a tricky position to hold here. He's going to be very exposed, but he's going to use the slightest of angles to cover off on that bomb. And he's planted it for himself. That's the main thing. Crims is going to work his way, and he has to start going for the defuse now. Yeah, he realizes he hasn't got time, can't find him out. Is he just going to try and stick it? The smoke's cleared out. It's going to be easy for Crystal. And a simple boom that will pick up Penta. Their third round on the board. You got to play percentages in that situation if you're Crims. You got to weigh up the amount of time you have left against mm, the most likely places where Crystal could be. As well, I think he lacked the utility to put a smoke down as well. So, as you say, Crystal had a good spot there. Really, <coughs> excuse me, hard to work around that one here. So, Fnatic can buy up. It was a bit of a costly round for them, but Penta in the same way will have themselves some guns here. Now, Penta, three rounds. Honestly, one or two more. 
not too shabby at all, really. I think uh, the rounds that they've won earlier on were pretty good, but Fnatic here as well seemed very, very hard to break through. You can see Penta clutching at straws a little bit, especially mid to late round. Yeah, we thought that the other day when uh, Envy managed to get themselves seven rounds on T-side, and then TSM switched up and went 8-2 second half. Great little pop flash out from Pronax. Doesn't get himself the second on Tarsin, though. Wasn't completely blinded. Flusher kind of caught out, though. JW's going to go for a second peek. Is. And manages to get himself the second kill of the round. And Penta going to have to go collect themselves the bomb. Speedy's going to go for that one. And they're going to go try and go for the rotate. But Flush has got open eyes down mid there. And JW goes for yet another peek. It's Crimson that finds the shot. Flusher gets himself a second. And 10-3. Fnatic break Penta's bank straight back. Honestly, that wouldn't have been a terrible situation for uh, a two-gun save there from Pentum if they wanted to net themselves one more round. They're already uh, in trouble, I guess, as well, and fairly exposed. But now, as you can see, they are not going to have a lot to work with at all here on this one. So, hoping maybe for the last round of the half, they're going to be able to do a bit more. Orb still with JW as well. So, going away from the Mag-7, it may not change his position too much as we head sort of early mid-round here. He'll do the mid-peak as standard, but here, of course... Is Pronax throwing that nade down there as well, keeping Penta away from that one early on in the piece. Just some taps down mid, the triple nade coming out from Crims. Oh Lord, I wish you, I wish you had seen that. This guy is a nut job in the best possible way. And oh, Meister gets a double as well. And that's what happens when you walk into a nade without armor, etc. You've always got to risk it and throw that double nade down banana because sometimes it will land and sometimes it will win you the game. Not so much a winner game this time around because, well, Fnatic are 11th up. They're pretty much cruising on the CT side, expecting to close this one out comfortably. It's pretty much buy what you can for Penta. Meanwhile, Fnatic, well, they're having fun with this. Look at Flusher. Here we go. Oh, dear. Here we go. What can he do? The mow down is a coming. Sadly, they actually counter mollied. <laughs> Penta with a bar of it. Petra like, get the hell away from us. We don't want none of this. They're actually all stacked around that corner. He's going to find himself one. Little crouching headshot. Oh, they're gonna try put through the splash. Instead, they kill each other. They do finally get themselves one down there. But Crims tries to push on through, and it's the auto shotty that finds the kills. And Crims gets himself a triple fanatic. Dominant, dominant first half from that 12-3. Would not expect anything else just a week before the major. Absolutely not as well. And Fnatic, um, you know, there, there are moments there where they definitely had to sort of pull their socks up and, and get the job done and sort of bring it together as well. But it seems like Penta uh, struggled to pressure them, I guess, in the ways that you'd sort of uh, you know want to go towards so pressuring Fnatic in general. I mean, you know, we talk back again, seven T-side rounds may not be enough if it's uh, Envy versus TSM. That is something you really <laughs> can't make comparisons to, I guess. But... <clears throat> Penta here now. <laughs> Pistol is everything, and oh. it's the jewelies. <laughs> All right, Fnatic, let's see what you got. All the jewelies oh in the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> they are having a great old time. I think got the Briar camo as well, which is just the most aesthetically pleasing camo. <laughs> and uh, this is the, the Pied Piper leading his merry men into battle, of course. Here we go. Come on. Well, I mean, the, the irony is that Penta like putting smokes down and everything. They're like, okay, guys, they're coming. I, get, I can't see anyone down, down banana just yet. <laughs> and it means absolutely bugger all as it's well. It's the attack of the slow Julius. <laughs> Toss in there, saw a glint of it there. Maybe not really cottoning on to exactly what's happening. It's like a human centipede. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Alof Meissen now is going to make his way around as well. Look at these guys. Don't I'm, Google that one, by the way, I'm not sure where they're looking. <laughs> Not sure where they're looking at all. No, okay, Crims is just doing some dance moves here. So Fnatic clearly taking this very seriously. And I want to see what happens when they start to burst through here now. Of course, still Beretta's a little bit better than they were in terms of the, sort of the, the, the spread of the recall and all they're that sort all of thing. They're all just lurking so. in the smoke. Oh, God, here they come. Here they come. Spinny's like, I, I heard someone. I heard something. It's going to be Strux. They're going to push on Strux. He managed to pick off. Tapson gets one. Can he get the second? It's still crawling, by the way. They're, <laughs> they're just crawling their way through. <laughs> you can't, how can you take this seriously? Finally, they're not crawling anymore. Crystal's going to pick one off. Pick the second one off. And <laughs> Penta will pick up the round. Mm, Fnatic, I'm, I'm not sure you're quite taking this one seriously. I, I, now, I think that's a really bad idea, them revealing their, their major uh, strats that, that already. That was a strat that they're going to use against TSM That was probably a mistake. So yeah. they've given that really important mm. part of their playbook away now to anyone who's watching. So I'm sure, you know, out of all those top contenders, VP, TSM, they're scrabbling their notes down as well, how to counter the, uh, the dual but, Beretta uh, train. Dupree was watching earlier, so obviously taking some key notes on Fnatic's 
pistol strat. Maybe we'll see a copy of that. Maybe we'll see TSM do the same now because that was almost successful. It's very hard to hit as well because you're when you're with your crosshair placement on the pistol mm. round, you're not looking so low as well. Quick, no. uh, you know, salvo of dual Beretta shots can sort of put you out of your misery here. But Penta get that pistol round here and straight away three for masses and it's going to be a P90 as well. Crystal has the MP7 and he is just going to backtrack a little bit here as. Fnatic have made their way already into... Hey, look at this, essentially unchallenged as well. So uh, Penta really, really sitting back on this one. No apartments presence whatsoever. They just want to play, uh, sort of let, let Fnatic push right to the gooey center of their composition. And here's Tarsus sitting back in pit. Let's see where the gooey center is. Mm. Crystal ready and waiting. It's going to be JW and Olaf. But no, they're going to backtrack. It's actually Strux and Tabson they're going to challenge over on B side. That's where Flusher and Crimson go. And Olaf's just going to be the simple distracting force to keep them all at A side. And Olaf does it so well often. Crystal always oh, managing to take him down. Good tag on towards Olaf. But now they're going to push on. B side is where they're going. Strux manages to find himself one. But the P90 is sprayed out. No, Tabson, you didn't manage to finish it off. And Flusher will push on round and find him. Now Strux has been distracted. Is it long enough? I think Flusher's going to get caught in the back here by Spitty. He's got himself tucked in. Strux should come out on top of this one, but it's poor time for Olaf just to come in and plant in the open. Oh my god, he's got it down, and now he's got the Deagle. Doesn't quite manage to land the shot, but the bomb plant still came in and gives them the cash. That's classic. Uh, Olaf Feister as well. He sold the fake some more. He could sell Fosters to an Aussie. All he had to do was peek around a corner. One Deagle shot. Three players from Pentra have just that, converged on that, that area. That means nothing to anyone in the Western world, by the way, because we have no idea. We believe that all of Australians well, drink it's, it's Fosters. Like, it's the same as like selling ice to an Eskimo yeah, as well. Yeah. That's, the, that's the kind of thing. You guys do it. not drink. In fact, it's even served, sold no, in no, Australia. It's can, purely an export, isn't because, it? Because Aussies don't drink Fosters because of the implication it has about being like a, <clears> a bogan or like... Is uh, it Castle Lane Forex over there? Forex is in Queensland. Every state has their special beers. Because so. Aussies don't give a 4X for anything else. <laughs> I love that aspect. Oh dear. Alright, so here we are. Fnatic, um, honestly, didn't really, didn't really look like they wanted to buy. They, unlike Penta, are actually going to sort of uh, mildly spend in this round here. Obviously, Olaf Meister again has that Deagle. They got the plant last round as well, so it does mean that they are building up Spitty's trying to do a JW. Spitty's going aggressive. He's going to find Pronax and he manages to get him and that's the bomb that's just been dropped down there. Tries to counter it. Oh, burning. Uh -oh. Run away. And they're actually going to chase him. Wow. Crims just pushes straight through the smoke and backtracks. Catches him out and is a one-for-one -one trade. This is just P250s for Fnatic and they're in a three-on-three. -three. They've managed to pick up themselves the FAMAS. Mm, Sarsin going to get very close. Has to switch out. He should be able to close that one out on Flusher. And it is now all on JW and Pit. Oh, well, that's another round for Penta there as Crystal does pick up the last one. But some more audacious play from Fnatic. They're definitely testing uh, Penta quite a lot here. They're testing, they're seeing sort of what's going to work, what's not. You saw, I think it was Crims that, no, maybe Pronax, who just, who just sort of burst down halls over the Molotov and tried to sort of get some kills here. He did get one. So, you know, Fnatic keeping Penta honest here as well. They are poking and prodding a little bit as well, gaining information. And this is an important experience for Penta as well. They haven't played Fnatic since March. They haven't played him in this permutation, this roster. So this is important for them as well uh, to experience, I think. Not that they're not experienced. Penta are uh, obviously very experienced as a CSGO team. But you know, learning how to deal with Fnatic and the stuff they're pulling is important. And now Strux here is just going to back up around the corner here. But Fnatic... Uh, I don't really have any Molotovs or grenades to sort of flush him out of that corner here. But there goes Tarsen just peeking and just making himself available there. Flusher will gladly oblige and pick him up and their structures trying to play from the back of the car. And so were passive on A last last couple of rounds. Now on a B, they're getting a bit aggressive, but Strux is already early rotating through CT, or even though the bomb's going through Banana. Yeah, the three stack working out well for Penta there, getting the two for one trade. They'll be happy with that. Smokes are going to delay things once again. It's JW and Pronex are going to creep on through. They've left Tabson alone with his P90. Strux is going to rejoin him, and it's going to get resmoked as well to delay things even more. Now, are they going to continue this path? It doesn't look like it. Don't tell a lie, JW is fancying it. He's only on 13 health, JW is, but you never know. That smoke's going to go CT. It's going to keep Strux out of the game, and that takes it down to a... One on one, trying to draw the attention, trying to hope that Strux goes for that peak. While this is all happening, Olaf has managed to push himself out of Boiler, gets himself a good tack. Crystal, I can't remember what we're going to call it, but outside of the actual name that everybody else calls it, but I can't call it in game. It's Dildo, ladies and gentlemen, that's what he was on. I don't know what else to call it. Crystal sitting on the Dildo. I don't know. Olaf is not going to find him, and Crystal will manage to. Work out well. Great work from Crystal. Clearly that dildo boosting him to glory. Compose yourself, Mitch. All right. 
We, I thought we had crazy names for stuff back in Australia. But That's what that everybody just... in game calls it. I don't know. We, we'd... <laughs> of course, of course. That's, uh... In the words of hand, no, I'm not going to say it. Because <laughs> it, no, no. Let's. Uh... <laughs> We're going to keep it together. It's getting a bit late, of course, now. It's been a big weekend of CSGO, but we are just going to try and maintain our sanity for the most part here. Is Penta trying to do the same as well, avoid themselves from pulling out hair. They did get that last round. Surely frustration's coming for them here, but some CT rounds are being put together, and Fnatic, again, seeing what they can sort of make some inroads with now. Taps, and again, that aggressive push towards Banana. Even Olofmeister wasn't being so aggressive in some of the Fnatic uh, uh, CT side rounds here. That was still yielding the kill towards Crims, and it's only Flusher with body armor here as well. He's only got a P250, so Fnatic are not working with much, but they don't always need that much either. No, just a boost peak gets spotted out. That's all it was, the kill on Crims. And it is going to be a, a play from Fnatic. Flush is going to be the man that creeps himself forward towards CT Arch. They're going to smoke that off and push on towards Quad. Olaf Mace is going to make the move, and here they go. Pistol play from Fnatic. It will get slowed down by those mollies, countered out from Penta. And nobody going down, nobody peeking early. Penta not falling for any of the shenanigans. Easy cut out from the balcony. And the spray from Tarzan and Spitty will close out the round. It was just a pistol for Fnatic. So, 12-8, Fnatic yet to show anything. Um, because, frankly, they've not really been taking it too seriously on the T side just yet. You can see that Penta have a lot of respect for Fnatic as well, especially playing through apartments where they had their own woes in the last half when they are on the CT side. Penta give a lot of ground on A, a lot of it. Sitting People people sitting in pit, graveyard, and library, and a lot of smokes as well to slow down Fnatic as they push through. Fnatic eventually are forced to sort of push through those or through small gaps in smoke, and as you saw there, got picked off, of course. It was a pistol as well. But that is the mentality, I think, that Penta are working with by the looks here. Now... JW is actually up in Banana as well, so as usual, Flusher and Crims are both there, so they're looking for something. But on the A side of things, if Fnatic giving no Penta a lot of space. No smokes coming out of Taps and the Structures yet on Banana, and Flusher and JW are starting to rattle shots in their direction. Now, Tapson's getting him to get himself on spool. Struck's very risky stuff there, peeking out. Now they're going to smoke it out. They suddenly realize, hang on a minute, there's three Fnatic members around this corner at the cart. Let's, let's get some smokes down there. Crims is going to try and keep giving himself an angle, but nothing shown for him. So now it's over to Olaf Meister, over in Boiler, to start trying to work something on A-site. Well, it's going to be Olaf Meister now working through those apartments, and JW is slowly making his way up mid. Better sitting on those smokes a bit. I mean, that's a good 10, 15 seconds of uh, of stall that you have there, so there's sometimes no it's best to hold it to your short. There's no smokes left on B site, which is where Fnatic is starting to stack out here. They have got flashes, and there is a molly in Tarsin's hand, so he will slow them down. It may force Fnatic to just try and push on through. There's the flashes and smokes going down. Fnatic is going to try and make this play, but is it a big fake? I think it might be. Pronex lines himself up. No, that's a molly going in there. And now Strux pinned in corner. Crystal's going to try and come around. He's going to have to rush through construction as Flusher makes his way into sight. They might even work from CTU here as well as Crystal's going to come around as well. See if he can interrupt it here. Strux is trying to hold from Newbox. He does take down Flusher. There's going to be another push around the corner. Great com a combination from those Pentagons <laughs> on that side here. Julius from Crystal. Revenge is a... can't remember the bit damn of line. mistress or something like that. That was... Uh, no. A dish best served. Oh, that one. All right. Too slow, though. Dish Too slow. Cold. Brain's just not working tonight. I don't know what it is. So, yeah, I mean, JW burning down that Molotov there, uh, working on towards B was interesting. And got to hand it to Strux as well. He held, he held well. There was actually smokes on CT and Spool, so he couldn't see anything. Uh, reinforcements couldn't reach him either until uh, the rotation sort of came through. So, I don't know. It was pretty good from Penta, actually. I mean, Fnatic now, uh, Olaf Meister only with a Tech 9. We know that's generally not a handicap for the man in any way, shape, or form. There is a smoke there towards Banana, but Fnatic now actually just pushing up a bit as well. You can see Tarsit actually oh, still getting towards the other side of A there, so he's just been drawn across. Crystal and Spitty, though, both of them? No, <coughs> surely uh, not. Oh, yeah, that's, they may be over-rotated in this one. Spitty's realized really nervous. it. nervous. Spitty's sitting on Speedway, not going to go just completely across there. If Fnatic realizes this, they might push up. Tarsit's actually peaking as well mm. in apartments. That's very dangerous when he's the only man on site. Yeah, that, I think that's an early rotate, to be honest with you there. Flush is able to back away. He's definitely sold the Kiffer here. And now Tarsa is just going to back up right in the corner off pit. It'll be a molly for him, at least, I think. 
to hold back. You can see now he's in that pit now. He's going to get pushed onto as well. He's actually going to put most of his utility towards apartment. There's actually no one there, so it's being wasted, but he still gets on towards Moller, uh, on towards Olaf Meister. There's Spitty on the road tape. Finally, gets taken down by JW. Tarson finally drops here, and that side is open for Fnatic. I mean, it's something that I, I struggle with a lot uh, in my play sometimes, personally, as well, is these early road tapes. You get nervous. You don't know where the other team are. You're worried. The slightest shot over at the B site means, oh, I'm going to go there now. That seems like that seems like what Penta have done there, but his taps are stepping up to the plate here. He takes down Flusher. Crystal now is sort of nestled in on the side as well. Oh, look at oh. this. Just on the other side of that one. Oh, Pronax with good spotting there as well. Manages to turn his head, and it's just Tabson with five health. He's got to save. Yeah, going to have to run back away and save on this one. Although, you say he's got to save. They've also dropped someone as well. I don't see who it is. That's actually Crystal's first death, by the way, on the CT side. Um, I only noticed that because he's still got those jewelies from the very beginning. I was like, okay. So, Penta did get themselves a nice little roll there for a short period of time, but 6 1 on this second half to Penta, but Fnatic now finally with that round on the board. I think they may. So, okay, guys, let's, let's close out the game. It would have been nice if they'd done it a little bit earlier because we were behind on time, but you know. Who are we to argue with a team having fun in their own game? I honestly think some of these CT rounds have actually been really good from Penta, though. I mean, you can say what you like about what Fnatic's do or how they're doing it or even why, but some of these holds on B have been have been nice. They have been really good. So Fnatic uh, have had to resort to, you know, um, putting a little bit more pressure and expending a bit more resources, actually, on trying to crack Penta open here now. Four rounds in it. There's a molly towards the top of Banana there as well, and that's Tabson not going to go for anything cheeky this round like he often oh, likes to go to. This is risky. Very risky. Olaf and Pronax are about to come around that corner. It could be great. And now that, but the problem is now they know that that side is oh. clear. Oh, the little peek gets Pronax, backs away and gets Olaf as well. Now that was good from Spitty. Beautiful stuff. Uh, they managed to get out of there. And now what are, what are Fnatic going to do about it? Crimson's got himself in there, but unsure. He's waiting for JW to try and get around and give him the clearance, but uh, that's going to collect the bomb. And now what are, what are these last three members going to do? It's a three on three on A site if they want to try and risk it, but Penta have the angle advantage. 3v3 on the A, it's going to be, as you said, Tarsin looking towards that balcony. Spitty as well, looking over towards Quad here. So here's a push from Fnatic. They're going to go as a team there, and they take down Crystal. They can go even through CT here if they want to. They have some control, but good flashes coming out here from Penta. Going to try and hold them at bay. Flusher now, just trying to eliminate that uh, gun, I think, maybe, so no one can they're pick going, it up. They're going through. They're going speedway. Tars, Tapson's going to be the man. He has to get one down, and he does. That's the information they needed. Now, Strux has to make tracks, but he's actually smoked away from his site. That does clear. Now that Crims and Flusher, are they going to try and track him as soon as he comes around this corner? Here's the footsteps. Strux now knows, but why are they all coming from the same direction? Now, there's a singular flash, a molly, and a nade for Penta to try and make this play. Fnatic are in a great position. Crims, this is Crims' bread and butter, or defending b site. And Molotov comes down as well. Strux is going to take a heck of a lot of damage from it. He gets back to CT at least, and Flusher poke his head out a little bit too far. But now Crims has to hold from this corner. Molotov comes out. It's in the wrong direction. He gets a spray down at one, two. He's looking for Spitty. Oh! He gets it with a cheeky little headshot. And there is Fnatic getting another one on top. And as you said, that is Crims' bread and butter. Oh, my Lord. Penta. I mean... It's like standard stuff. If you've got three members, don't come the same direction. Now, obviously, we saw Strux. He did manage to get around there, but... <laughs> Two bullets left, by the way. Yeah, and that's all he needed. Bam, finds the head. Superb stuff from Crims there. Especially because, obviously, his partner in crime got taken down so early on there. But 14-9 now, Fnatic. You know, when they need to turn it on, they absolutely can. That nade is going to find Crims. Doesn't do a great deal of damage to him because he has got the head armor on. But again, late smokes coming out from both Strux and Tabs and trying to slow down Fnatic as much as they can. But it buys Fnatic so much time to get these angles. This time around, they didn't get any attacks, though, on Serpenta. Couple uh, nade tags to Crims and JW there. Nothing really to write home about for them. They're probably happy to sustain some uh, some damage here in the early stages. Olaf Meister asking the question of apartments here, but no one from Penta really pushing up there at this stage. Still three for them on eight. JW and Flusher as well. You see Tarsen, he's yeah, Strux on the corner. Flush now on the card as well, so he definitely want to be appearing over smoke at this stage. Strux will just waltz across. He might be revealed to flush it just above the top of that one. Not sure if he was spotted, so Penta moving back onto that side. Fnatic gathering their three players ready for a push. Yeah, JW is going to be the opening peak. Gets a little look in towards Porch there, so he knows that's cleared out. He is going to look towards Boost, but Tabson comes out on top. 
Now, how's that rotate? Look at Pronex. Pronex is in a site. Tarsin is Spiddy actually pushing out of apartments. He might catch Crims. Crims is about to pass on by, but Crims caught a glimpse of Tarsin. Now they're in a site. Spiddy's in boiler, ready and waiting to pounce. That smoke's going to buy time for Fnatic. Here's all the footsteps go past. And he's just going to creep out right behind him. Gets himself one and the second. And now that is good stuff. Fnatic, they're in a real tricky hold here. Pronexo will get it one and make it a two on two. Make it out a two on one. As Crims once again is called to action for his team. But that box, you can shoot straight through it. It wasn't offering the defense he needed. And Penta get the round. Nice work from them again. A good recovery, I have to say. After the uh, onslaught that went to sort of the B side there, Strux and Tabs and able to just bring it back together. And again, Pimpsonel, another round for them. As I said, I, I really, you know, as much as people say, oh, look, Fnatic definitely looking like front runners here. They're definitely looking a lot stronger. When Penta need to turn on, they are. Uh, and this is honestly uh, a big part of why I think they were, were so uh, good against Na'Vi in their first game with the Pro League as well. They've sort of had a bit of a roller coaster time since then. But, you know, I think... I think the addition of these new players as well, what new as I waggle my fingers, of course, is having Spitty and Tarsin in the mix makes a big difference as well. I mean, Spitty's at the top there. He, he normally is. Uh, and I value Tarsin as well as a much, a very much a pivot point here. But let's see now what happens is Tabson again doesn't want to go. We'll go for that car peak eventually. He will vary how far he pushes out in the last few rounds. It's just flusher though, that is on that banana here. So it's going to be a Molotov expended for that. Fnatic, though. Fnatic though grouped up, he's struck so trying to do a flusher here and this is this is honestly drawing the attention of Penta players for a while because here come the smokes, four minutes from Fnatic, they're going to push forward, obviously it's pistols for them now, only the one flash, Crystal's going to be able to get one, he will get two as they come through the smoke and flusher will still be able to get rid of him at the end there, trying to fake it up a little bit there and be not really working out. Yeah, the slaughter coming out, Pronax the last man alive, no weapon for him, just that CZ, Tarsin's going to go for the peak, That's not going to work out for him. But yeah, going back to your point, you know, Penta are great players, no doubt about it. They all, all have fantastic aim, fantastic brains, but Fnatic are a great team. They play well together. Not only are they individually talented, they are brilliant as a team. Their timings, everything that seems to work from that's why they've won three majors. I know a lot of people we were discussing in the office about if they were to go and win the fourth major and were three in a year, would it be bad for Counter-Strike? Probably not, because still, like while they are up there with three majors, the level is still clearly very close. It's not like they are, you know, miles ahead. They're not Koreans of League of Legends. They're not a million miles away in terms of Counter-Strike. They are still beatable. Um, but what an incredible feat it would be if they were to win all three majors in a year. Who knows what could happen? Definitely going to be tuning in for that one next week. Well, it's starting to look a lot better right now, especially over the last few days. Again, Fnatic have committed four players over towards A, this time with some well, better guns at least to try and work with here. Some smokes to come out. There's already one there. Crystal's forced back around. Here's Tarsen as well. Now, his teammate's quite a long way back towards library here. Tarsen, a little bit exposed, and he'll move on towards the side as well for a touch of safety. they cut off the CT rotate as well. Crystal now takes a bit of damage from that nade. JW has pushed through that as well. Just to check. Looking. He might be caught by Strux here. No, he manages to get him. That's JW. I don't know, man. I don't know how he does it. He just does. But Tarsin gets two as well over on the A side now. JW wrapping through library. And the bomb is down at quad. Yeah, that's real tricky as well. Crystal managed to catch Olaf as he tried to creep out a boiler there. Bomb loose down at quad. Flush is making his way up for this one. JW not looking towards speed. He should get picked off easily. And now Flush are the last man standing. Suddenly, all their little fun and games at the start are kind of backfiring here for Fnatic. They... We're looking to try and close this one out, but Penta are not messing around on the CT side. They're now 9-2 up on this second half. Yep. That is still a very big score. 12-3 was the score for Fnatic on the first. This is doable right now, 14-12. Could be another TSM envious situation here as well. I mean, Penta bringing it back in a big way. Um, and they're grinding it out sometimes as well. They just have to. But Fnatic can definitely sort of, uh, you know, asking, I guess, uh, the question of Penta as well. Some audacious plays coming out from it here and there, I'd like to think. But that's the Fnatic we know and love. So far, Penta, they're playing. Uh, they're not playing too crazily, I don't really feel. And it's working out for them. You can see Tarson on towards JW there. He actually made a little bit of a peek there. And that shuts down him, obviously, over on that B side of the map here. But you can see Crystal. I think he saw Olaf Meister there. Olaf Meister's going to go for the challenge. Crystal actually doesn't fancy it. He backs up. Got a Molotov as well for his own safety. So you can see so much respect here coming out for Fnatic, even as it's clear that they're on their pistols. But Spitty, he'll get the bomb loose there. Olaf Meister took down Crystal in the end. And now Spitty trying to hold from this corner. He did get on towards Olaf Meister in response. And it is just Crims here. And all he's trying to do is inflict some financial damage. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out for him. Strokes is holding the angle. Second he peeks. Oop. 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 Uh, uh, that. 
didn't work. Financial damage is inflicted. Crims is going to try and go for the rotate. Tosses out the molly he just collected and now makes his way down towards top and mid. But unfortunately for him, Penta have three members ready and awaiting. And he's going to push through that smoke. They weren't waiting for him, though. I was expecting him to wait for him as soon as he showed himself. Taps and... Ooh, I got to one down low. Almost got the kill on towards Tarsin. But here we go. 14-13. Fnatic will buy themselves back into this round. This, I expect, will be a full, legit round from Fnatic. Time to close the game out. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, if the, if any of the rounds prior weren't, this one definitely would be, as you yeah. said. They just want to get it done here now. As Pinter put up a very respectable total, especially in the last two rounds. Like you said, only two rounds in this half have gone over to Fnatic. So it's actually been a weaker T side than, than Pinter's was on paper, depending on whether or not they get this round here. So Tapson again, no chance for him to push up to the car and get the cheeky early pick. Flusher is already fairly low, and he's with Crims on B. Fnatic just splitting this one. Three towards A. And a lot of... Look at, look at this. Look at the attention here towards mid and quad. There's two players in quad. And then well, one's going to get gunned down straight away by JW. Tarsen actually being drawn forward. And again, Tabson and Strux being very disciplined with their smokes. They're really pressured there. A couple of mollies thrown their way. Nades thrown their way. But they do not throw them out. Both hanging on to them. And that's going to cause problems it means they have to force their way in towards a site now you can still see there is that smoke down at the top of mid so that's delaying them just for now 50 seconds on the clock crystal and tarsin the two players four pens up here on a site where fanatic a four-man stock flusher continues to just hold the back door and there's a little boost i think it's Tabs and the strokes. No, they first first smoke used. 33 seconds on B side. So that's absolutely where they can't go. It will be a rotate through CT Arch. Are they going to push straight round? Is it going to be a wraparound onto B side? Yes, it is. Yeah, that was it. Flush has just been sitting in Banana all round. He threw our CT smoke there as well, just to force a smoke from Penta, and he did. No smokes at all left. No flashes. Nothing for Penta here. That's going to be one taken down. Tabson's the man on site. Gets himself one on spool. Spins around to construction, but can't make it a second. And now it's a real tricky task for Tarsin, who's working his way in. Doesn't manage to get the bomb plant to Pronax. Sprayed him down to nine health. And now Penta, well, they're in a real problem. JW's going to get a peek around the corner and see Crystal. Flash him out. Crystal, though, trying to get himself the angle up on high. Nice little play there to avoid the flash. But unfortunately for him, Fnatic. Played that one by the book. That was a full, legit Fnatic strat. 15-13. Yeah. And actually, the way that Penta set themselves up in that round as well on the A side, they actually had two players at quad, and they had one player inside those apartments there. They had no one over towards the CT connector side of the A side. So, I mean, that worked really well for Fnatic. They actually, they probably didn't expect that. They weren't counting on that, but it played perfectly into their hands because they threw the smoke down a quad, and they managed to wake their way through. Yeah, it's the, it's the danger. Obviously, they lost that man early. So they were like, okay, we need to double stack both sides, and they've got to kind of stay in the same position so they can get those revenge frags. It just sadly, obviously, it was... You know, Fnatic just exploited exactly that weakness. They knew where the weakness would be and uh, made full use of it. Despite the fact Tabs and Strokes would like delaying with their smokes as humanly long as they possibly could. But, I mean, a CT smoke from Flusher is always going to draw one from the B-side defenders as well. They're always going to make them nervous here. Tarsen took down JW. And uh, Crystal, you can see Crystal's back right up here as well. And he's just going to be waiting for the push coming around for Fnatic. They're not taking, they're not really, they're taking the time a little bit, I guess you could say. Olaf Meister now will make a push. There's the pop flash. He's also full flash as well. But look at how low these Penta players are. Tarsen and Crystal, super low. And meanwhile, on the B side, of course, that is starting to get pushed on too as well. And you can see that uh, Penta has <clears throat> split pretty badly here. Strux is already, if you can see the minimap, he's already on the rotate towards A and they've drawn him away. Oh. It's going to be a 2v1 on the B side. Olaf trying to creep through CT Arch there. Did get past one actually, but went straight into Strux. Totally caught off guard. So it's a five on three. Penta, but as you mentioned, very low on health here. Tarsin with next to nothing. He's over on B site. Speedy and Tarsin going to stick there. Fnatic, three members as they creep their way through the smokes. Tabs and Crystal just around the site. They do manage to get themselves one, two, and three. And Penta do manage to get the spray down. Beautiful stuff from Crystal there. So Fnatic, could we see overtime here? They really have been tested. It's going to be a mishmash of a buy. You can see the Galils coming out. The, well, I mean, 
Tech 9 for Olaf Meister may well just be the same as an AK, but they are really having to force whatever they can here. Yeah, at some point, you've got to say as well, Fnatic now taking this one a little bit more seriously. They probably want to avoid overtime, even in the interests of CZ saving for JW. Time. This is incredible. Yep. Uh, well, money. See, money's not there for them right now as well. That was a bit of a gambit, that last round for them as well. Penta triple stack. They've gone for a boost on to quad. This is, this is going to be work out well. If he just spins around, they're all actually pushing through this fight. There's nobody on Arch. They've just gone straight through Arch. Oh this is not great. This is actually a disaster. They've completely wrapped around. Tarsian's going to get caught out. He manages to find one. Crims is already on site. He's already getting in towards the plan. Oh, Tarsin. He wasn't looking towards his left side there. Crimson's going to be able to pick him up. This is going to be the part for Fnatic. You said pistol for JW. This was a force by Fnatic. And then made it a 3v2. Pronax on the taps. And Crystal now is going to advance through that smoke here. He'll find the back of Pronax at least. But there's going to be revenge fire coming in from Flusher. And there's Strux. He's trying to hold on. He's trying to shut Crimson down. The bomb is down as well. He mollies in the wrong direction. And Flusher is coming around the corner. Will he get so the DP? He's one second left. Oh, no. He oh, hasn't done God. it. It's in. That is in Penta at the last <laughs> second. We're going to see him go down. They couldn't get the defuse finished, and that is Fnatic. To be fair, would have to be a little bit sheepish about that one. Getting away with murder, literally. Oh, you could not get any closer, I don't think, on that defuse either. So, so close. But Penta decided to get fancy in the last round. They tried to go for the boost of three members on quad. I think they wanted to double boost onto quad. And that just left Arch open. Obviously, to be fair, Fnatic had played it slow for a lot of rounds, and then they decided to speed it up in the last game. Incredible, incredible stuff. But Fnatic do close it out 16-14. Penta going to feel a little aggrieved in that one. But coming up next, it is going to be Mouse Sports versus Envious. That will be an overpass now, which is not a great map for Envious. So keep your eyes on that one. Mouse Sports already beat Navi tonight. Can they make it two in a row? Join us then.